Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachach Kodash, Yahweh being the true Almighty and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And His only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Racha is Spirit, Kodash is Holy. That, of course, is what I utter, of course, in the Paleo Hebrew. Of course, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well in peace and salutation to all sincere Achim out there, of course, on the highways and hedges, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this Amoth, this truth, to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Brother Amatha, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon with another we lesson. All right, this is a uh, lesson due to the spirit of power, y'all, by Shemel Shai. We're so addressed in the whole um, recent uh, encounter with that uh, he called himself the brother Polite, in which uh, he, of course, uh, ran into the brothers down in GMS Miami and was condemned yet again. All right, he's marked for judgment. He's a rebellious Israelite and. Like many of them that are out there, um, they try to bring slander across to the the men of the Lord. All right, the prophets at Yah, at uh, Sage, the prophets at um Great Millstone. All right, which are the Lord's true prophets here on earth today. All right, starting of course with our elders and apostles here at Great Millstone GMS. Now, you know they bring out of course this whole thing with the um. The rape doctrine and such all right, are the laws really on rape, in which it has been addressed, all right. Um, and they have an issue, all right, with um, the ways of, of the East, all right, the ways of the Bible, all right, really, you know, because uh, we are a people from the East, the Israelites, all right, from Israel, Yasha Allah, all right, which we are a people before we are a place and they can't seem to grasp uh, that a woman or a, a girl becomes a woman when she passes the flower of her age which is her receiving her menstrual cycle in which she can now bear a child all right now, just so that you understand, here in this setup, all right, you don't have us men, all right, here at Great Millstone going and trying to get with little young 12-year-olds uh, and such, okay? That's not something that we do teach. We teach the scriptures correctly and directly. It's, of course, um, something that of course uh, occurred in the ancient world, okay? And here in today's setup, uh, you know, you you can't go about just doing that here, of course, in the West, all right, marrying um, uh, 12 year olds, okay? Just so that you know, you'll get locked up and arrested, okay? But it's something that has been done in the ancient world and still is practiced amongst other cultures. All right. Uh, well, with being that a lot of, more so being that some of these other younger younger uh, girls, all right, are being married off and such. So I'm gonna hit just uh, some points here, and um, and just close out. I'm more so gonna um, cover this article here, which you see on SkyNews.com. Which says mother jail for tricking daughter to marry man 16 years older than her in Pakistan. Which uh, Pakistan, that is uh, over there in the um, east, okay. Which, uh, slack it. I got this uh, greasy um, <laughs> mouse pad. Which you can see here on my screen. This map of Pakistan are... Are really yeah, so you Pakistan is nearby India, okay? It's um, 
about what's that? You will say uh, northwest of India. Uh, you have, of course, the neighboring Iran and Afghanistan. Which the Pakistani people, they're Elamites. Okay, East Indians. They uh, are the uh, ancient Persians. Okay, you will say. All right, that's what they uh, would be. All right, but basically they're they're Elamites. Okay. Going to it, Pakistan, South Asian nation, formed 1947 by division of British India. Okay, because of course, uh, India, um, India was uh, also in history a uh, colony of uh, Great Britain. Uh, it goes and it says the name apparently proposed in the 1930s uh, by Muslim students at Cambridge uh, University. Um, he going to it. You got Punjab, Afghan province, okay, and uh, Iranian, Pak meaning pure, and Stan, just uh, one who stands when you go into that, okay. So just know they're Elamites, okay, just so that you know. So let's just get into it, just so that you have a good uh, idea of these two people, okay. So he says a mother has been jailed for four and a half years after forcing daughter to marry Pak in Pakistan. And this, I believe, is a uh, English woman, okay, who, you, you, it'll explain itself. Okay, it says that the, the marriage prosecution is the first of its kind in Britain. Okay, so this occurred in Great Britain. You have a British-born um, citizen, all right, and what's really by her uh, bloodline, nationality, all right, she is a Elamite. Uh, all right, now let's go into it. It says, with the woman convicted of deceiving a daughter to travel from the UK, a jury at Birmingham Crown Court heard how the girl sobbed during the marriage to a man 16 years her senior. He had taken her virginity during a, a trip to Pakistan years earlier. Okay, which uh, you're going to learn. It says, um, enter into a marriage contract against her will when she was 13 years old. So you had a, 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 a girl by the, by the age of 13 already had her virginity taken. And basically, well, sex is marriage. All right. Uh, Genesis 24 and 17, uh, 24 and 67. Um, you'll learn that. And, um, you know, she lost her virginity, all right, which, uh, when you go into that, this is for, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Let me just, uh, go back. Yeah, lost her virginity, and actually, it says she became pregnant and underwent an abortion on her return to the UK. At the time, her GP reported our grandparents, I believe that is, uh, concerned over the procedure to social services. I believe that's, I'm not sure if this is, uh, grandparents, but, you know, um, it's trying to go to the spirit. But, uh, the intervention did not stop a later forced marriage. Because when you go into the customs of, uh, Elam, all right, um, a lot of them, of course, have arranged marriages, okay? And a lot of, uh, ancient cultures, all right, embrace some of the same customs that which we have as Israelites, all right, um, there are many arranged marriages, uh, of course, uh, which we had, of course, as well, um, especially within the nobility, all right, so I'm gonna hit a point, okay, um, arranged marriage, this is off of culturalindia.net, our cultural India, um, I'm going to just read this top right part and go to the point. It says, in India, arranged marriage, marriages still remain a major pop, a preferred way, Sakya, for Indians, or really um, East Indians, to enter into matrimony. In the case of arranged marriage, parents and relatives decide on their life partner they deem suitable for their child. They keep in mind various factors, different for boys and girls while searching for a suitable match to attach their names with because uh, of course when the 
woman is is married, she does take the name of the husband. Okay. Now I'm gonna go down to history of evolution and hit this point right here. Now this uh, goes into you know a lot of these uh, well the Elam have that uh, religion of uh, Hinduism and such. But anyway, I'm gonna hit this uh, hit just hit some points. Um, it says uh, the Manu Samariti. Or, or smirty, yeah, a religious discourse that outlined the do's and don'ts for regarding duties, rights, laws, and codes of conduct and virtues to be practiced by people practicing family life. If they want to lead a life of sanctified dharma, these rules seep in the patriarch, a patriarchal tones and advocate in stripping women of their basic independence for a belief that independent women spread promiscu promiscu promiscuality alright or promiscuity alright slakia which uh, you know, that's going into women having sex with multiple partners alright basically a woman that's Gotten abroad, you know, opened up her uh, quiver for every arrow. All right, you could look for that scripture in the Apocrypha. All right, and an independent woman that's that's not uh, uh, something that, of course, that should be. All right, because a woman should be, of course, under a head being a man. Okay, going on, it says the women from this time on were put under. The shackles of forged patriarchy, having to live under the guardianship of a man in all stages of life, which that's how it is. You know, women supposed to be under a father, which the today's day and age, uh, you have broken families thanks to the so-called white man who was Esau Edom and his wicked, non-virtuous ass. All right, he has broken. Uh, every law, statute, commandments, which he destroyed the Israelite family, most importantly. Okay, but he has also perverted the rest of the nations with his different philosophies. And that's why they're gone mad. It says, um, it says, father, when she is unmarried. So a woman, of course, is on their father when she's unmarried, and then she's given on to a husband, which it says, a husband when she is married, and a son when she is old or widowed. Okay, it says as position of women in society degraded, the concept of marriage and her role in it changed. Previous custom of asking of her consent it was abolished, and the rituals like dowry, child marriages, exchange marriages, and derogatory customs began to rise. Okay, so just giving you a little bit of a um, uh, a breakdown, of course, uh, a little bit of uh, these different ancient cultures. All right. All right. So now I'm going to go here to ch this is on the child marriage under Wikipedia. Okay. So we're going to hit some points. So history it says hist historically, child marriage was common around the world. The average life expectancy did not exceed. 50 years old and of course uh, you know through of course sin we have death in the world and you know our of course most importantly our people the Israelites uh, our life expectancy being cut down alright because we used to live uh, you know hundreds of years old and such alright it says so child marriage was considered an effective practice to increase population it says the practice began to be questioned in the 20th century with age of individual first marriages increases many countries and more countries increasing the minimum marriage age. It says in ancient, all right, important, ancient and medieval societies, it was common for girls to be betrothed, which is promised, all right, a man, uh, a, a woman that is promised unto a man, okay, 
to be given in marriage. That's what betrothed is. It says at or even before puberty. Okay, so women were, of course, uh, promised by, say, like a father, promised another father uh, uh, that uh, th their son, their uh, their their daughter will be given to a son. Simple as that in marriage. Okay, promise. It says, as Fieldman claims, arranging and contracting the marriage of a young girl were the undisputed prerogatives of her father in ancient Israel. Okay. So it's a custom, of course, of the Israelites. Okay. Most girls were married before the age of 15. Often at the start of their puberty, which, uh, you know, we I just had hit the point. Well. I mentioned it. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 36. It says, But if any man think that he behave himself uncommonly towards his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. Let them marry. So, um, you have in the ancient world, Okay, um, you had, of course, uh, marriages, which in this present day, all right, here in the West, we looked at as, um, child marriages, all right, or, um, or, you know, most people regard that the woman is too young, but they don't have understanding, okay, in which they don't understand, first of all, they don't understand the scriptures, and nor do they understand history, and, um, Anything of the ancient, okay? So, I mean, really, you know, a person like that, they're, 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 they're pretty much, um, under, um, the, the control of the so-called white man's philosophy, because, I mean, this is even in his, in his history, all right? And, and the Edomites, all right? Which, uh, had, uh, which, uh, uh, had of course the Greek and the Roman Empire, okay, in which they had um, this going abroad, abroad too. All right, they of course would marry, all right, uh, young uh, women off. All right, when of course she passed her, her flower of age. All right, now we're gonna hit that, you know, which that just deals with when she have her menstrual cycle, just so that you know. Okay, which we're gonna hit it. Um. I'm going to go here to uh, read or read on. It says, uh, yeah, so I'm going to hit it right here. I'm going to just go. It says, the numerous re references to child ma marriages in the 16th century response to literature and other sources show that child marriage was so common it was virtually the norm, which yeah, we, we're not talking about like well, child marriages. Like this is where you know they they regarding a uh, from a Western uh, standpoint, regarding a, a woman as a child at the um and, and yeah, basically in that respect, okay. They were regarding a woman as a child based on the age, but you really you know a woman becomes a woman when she passes the flower age. Simple as that. All right, it's important to remember that in Halakaya, the term minor refers to a girl under 12 years in a day. I'm not sure we're going into that, but it says uh, a girl aged 12 and a half was considered an adult in all respects. Okay. In ancient Greek, early marriages and motherhood of girls were was encouraged, which the uh, you know, um, in the Greek Greek uh, Empire, of course, you know, uh, Alexander was, a, of course, the Edomite. And if he, of course, uh, conquered uh, the world back then. All right. And, of course, uh, you had this going on in the, um, the M Greek Empire. All right. It says, even boys were expected to marry in their teens. Early marriages and teenage motherhood was typical. In ancient Rome, which is not uh, also under the Edomites, all right, girls marry above the age of 12 and boys above 14 because, you know, around that time, you have women, 
while girls receive their uh, menstrual cycle. Okay, simple as that. In the Middle Ages, under English civil laws that were derived from the Roman laws, marriages before the age of 16 were common. Okay. In Imperial China, child marriage was the norm. And that's basically it on that. All right. So that you know that um, this whole thing with the uh, the, the whole, uh, you know, um, us uh, speaking on it. All right. Of uh, of um, that just being a point of of woman. Okay, a, a girl becoming a woman. All right. Um, after she receives that her menstrual cycle. All right, this is plain. All right. It even says it here. Like if you go into it, it got it under religion. It says that set uh, state the same time of her betrothal to J- Yahweh Sop or Joseph. Mary, the mother of Yahweh Shai, was tw- uh, they got twelve or do fourteen years old. But such accounts are unreliable. All right, so you know, a lot of people just unlearned. Okay, so I'm gonna pretty much uh, hit another scripture. This is Ecclesiasticus 21 and 15, and it reads, uh, "If a skillful man hear a wise word." He will commend it and add unto it. But as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, it displeases him. And this is a part of the, uh, you know, uh, the doctrine. All right. You know, a lot of people don't want to accept. All right. They, of course, uh, you know, we tell them already that it's not expedient. You know, though all is lawful, but all things are not, uh, or not all is lawful. But um, the scripture, uh. Um, that that I'm trying to paraphrase is uh, what is it? All things are lawful, but not all things are expedient. Roughly paraphrasing, meaning uh, all things are not profitable. We of course are not in the time of that anyway. Okay, we in the time of course of uh, doing the work. Yahabashim Shai, the kingdom is not established. Okay, so you're not gonna see Israelites, all right, um, going out there and having sex with a uh, twelve year old girls and all of that. Okay, we just address the scriptures and teach about what the scriptures say. Okay, so that you know, all right. Um, it says, and let me read it again. But but as soon as one of no understanding heareth it, so if they hear, of course, about uh, you know, um, our forefathers and such, uh, or even in the kingdom, this occurring, um. They, they of course get emotional. It's because uh, they first of all reject Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, all right, and of course also they are pro- polluted by the um, ways of the so-called white man, his westernized ways, which he made, and which, uh, like I say, you go into the history. I mean, he of course uh, have even adopted to himself. All right, it's just that you know, due of course the process of time, things have shifted. But these things, of course, still occur in different cultures, under different nations, in in the East, all right, and um, it's just not the norm, okay. Simple as that. But of course, when everything is set up in its proper order, things, of course, will be turned to this proper way, all right. Under Yahweh Bashim Shai, that's basically it on that. It says it displeases him. And it, he casts it, it behind his back. All right. And that's basically it, you know. With these, uh, these, uh, wicked, uh, people who, uh, just don't understand the scriptures, which it wasn't given on to him. It was only given on to the elect, the chosen of the chosen of the, uh, the nation of Israel, the, the, the elect. All right. The, uh, 144,000 men and the one third that, of course, uh, will believe. All right, and that's basically it. Okay, you had a mother jailed. All right, for uh, of course, um, you know, trying to marry off her uh, her daughter. I mean, you could read the rest of it, you know. But uh, that's basically it. 
So with that, just wanted to of course cover certain things. Hopefully you're edified. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.